Hello everyone, this is my journal collection. First up, let's start with my current bullet journal. It's a simple uh, spiral notebook that I use for daily purposes. Next, it's another bullet journal that I started for 2018 and finished in the end of July. The next three ones are also bullet journals. I used them during 2017 and second half of 2018. Next, I have a green notebook I use as a Spanish vocabulary journal, and it is still not a finished notebook. Here is another notebook for language learning purposes. This one is for studying Japanese independently on my own. The next one is also a Japanese learning notebook, but this one I used in a Japanese course class. The inner cover I could color while waiting for class. It's a really cool feature for a notebook. I really like that. It's also not finished yet. Honestly, I couldn't resist buying this one, even though I don't use notebooks with so few pages anymore. This cute one was for another course in university. This unfinished notebook was for learning some Spanish vocabulary before I entered university in the fall of 2016. One more notebook for university classes, this time a big one with 100 pages. I used it for class of syntax. The next one is also for university classes. I used this one for English Lexis class. And I used it from both front side and the back side by flipping it over. Another big notebook for class, this one was for Spanish. It, it has tabs, which was very useful in class. Don't worry, this 100 pages one is not for class anymore, but for personal use. In it, I write short reviews of books I've read. I started this in November of 2016, so it's not finished yet. One more journal for personal use. I keep it for writing weekly reviews on Sundays to reflect on my week. I am still working on finishing this one. Brown one and the lady puppy one are part of a personal project. I recreated a line a day journal in these simple notebooks and fill one of one of them daily. Project I started in 2016, May 19th. Another big notebook for personal use. I write random self-improvement journal prompts in it, as well as notes on YouTube videos that I watch. Here's a small notebook I got as a gift. I wrote notes in it for my novel Project V, and it still has space in it. The brown turn up one I use for writing down the titles of books I read since January 2016. Next, I have another current notebook that I am filling with quotes I like. When I finish it, I'll do a flip through on it on this channel. There's one more notebook for a writing project. This one I am working on right now and should be done by the end of October before NaNoWriMo starts. Fingers crossed. I am not only a writer, but I draw as well, so I have quite some sketchbooks too. This one is a current one that's not finished yet. Next, I have an older sketchbook that I used for art treats, sketches, my driving my own art, and so on. The two sketchbooks with tigers on the cover were for a thousand anatomy sketches challenge on deviant art hosted by Yusa. I did this uh, back in 2015 over the period of five months. I'll link the collage of all these sketches down below in the description. Next, 
I have an old notebook in which I did weekly reviews back when I was still trying to figure out how to do them. This journal was for a writing project I did all by hand. The other notebook is also one for a different writing project. Then I have another sketchbook that somehow turned into my first try of a bullet journal on the back of it. Oh well. The orange notebook is also a sketchbook, but it was more of a planner for my writing project and drawing my characters, and it has a lot of blank pages for some reason. Who knows why? Then I have a very old notebook that was one of my very first tries at weekly reviews, and then I stopped using it and turned it into a workout log. Next notebook is very random. It has some lists, like a bucket list, book list, books to read, movies to watch. The following notebook is a gratitude log that I am doing off and on, and I haven't used it for a couple of months now. This black one was meant to be a master to-do list notebook, and I used it for a while, and then I forgot about it. The owl notebook was too cute not to buy it, and I wasn't sure what to use it for, and then I ended up writing down songs I like in lyrics in there. The notebook is a blank notebook that I wanted to do a handwriting journal practice in. I didn't, as you can see. The flamingo one is a hardcover and I use it for notes and letters I write, but I haven't used it in a while too. The next notebook I use solely for writing 100 item lists. The puppy notebook I used for cutting out uh, scraps of out of which magazine and sticking it. And one notebook. was also for the same purposes, because I wanted to get rid of, of all the magazines I had, but I wanted to keep some things. The plain one is for the purpose to remember dates such as birthdays. The big black one is another writing project that I did back in 2010, and it was my first story that I finished. The small brown one really has no purpose, it's just a random notebook. It's mostly blank. Next I have a small collection of tiny notebooks that I use for gathering ideas and I keep one of them by my bedside. The current one is the one with the tiger on the cover. You can see a pattern by now, can't you? love tigers for no reason. Moving on, there are two notebooks that look exactly the same, and the reason is that they contain the same story inside Next, that I wrote. There's a small notebook that I kept for daily to-do lists before I had a bullet journal. Then I have a cute Africa notebook that I only wanted to show you because it's so beautiful. It's an old notebook from high school that I wrote history notes in. Then we have a notebook that originally was a sketchbook for art class in school, but I ripped some pages out and made it my writing project notes. Then there is one more notebook for the same writing project where I keep notes on world building, some characters, and summaries. It still has blank pages because the project is not finished. Next, I have one more notebook for writing projects, and inside, apparently, it has one more notebook for writing projects and loose pages in there, too. It seems like a mess because it is, obviously. Then I have three more notebooks on write and writing projects that were never finished or are going to be used as a base for something else, maybe sometime in the future. The notebook is also for a writing project that I know I won't come back to, but it was fun to try it out anyway. This orange one is 
a creative notes notebook that I used for random notes on random ideas for projects as well as current projects I was working on at that time. Then here comes my joy and pride, the six notebooks for the big project that I started long time ago and I'm still working on it because it has 12 stories in the works and these six notebooks are only the first one that I already wrote in my laptop. And now I present to you my 19 notebooks that are officially should have be considered diaries. The first one was started in 2007, May 22nd. And since then I am consistently journaling in my journals, even though the method how I do it has changed over the years, but is still stream of consciousness kind of journaling. So now I'll just show you each cover, even because I can't do much of a flip through. It's a personal thing. And this emoji one is the current journal I am using, and I'm hoping to finish it by the end of 2018. Now I'll just show you quickly all the blank notebooks. Now that I'll have just show you quickly all the blank notebooks that I have, but for some of them I have are not plans used for anything yet. For but for some of them, them I have plans for what I'm gonna use them for.
this is all I've got to show you today. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!